day one, 5 a.m. What a beautiful morning to be beginning this sabbatical holiday of a lifetime. <laughs> so here we are, becalmed outside Weymouth by about 10 nautical miles. At half past 10, we've made great headway on engine. We've put the sails up, put the jib up, and there isn't a breath of air. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, and we're gonna go fishing. Morning of day two, rather a different prospect. Monday the 23rd of May, 2022. And the skies are gray, but there's no rain, but little wind. And here we are at the Portland Marina, which is very posh. And we'll be setting off at about 7 a.m. It's quarter past six now setting off for Dartmouth. We came into Dartmouth in the most appalling rainy weather. Morale dropped, but we went out for an amazing meal with Paula, Steve's fiance, and all was well. And then the next day, off we set. Uh, this is the departure out of a much sunnier Dartmouth, having been overnight at the Devon Yacht Club in Kingsweir. Was this the predicted weather? Uh, yeah. Move over that way. Yeah, no, 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 not now. <laughs> And then we have the real pleasure of Charles Rowe QC coming out in his Contessa from Plymouth to sail us back into Plymouth with him on a glorious day. But Simon hadn't been feeling too great and when we got to Plymouth the weather got worse and we all needed a rest so there we stayed for a lay day which had the benefit of being able to have dinner with Adam Chippendall and Anna Vigers who were there before we then set off across Lime Bay for Falmouth. John Rue joined us in Plymouth and then his friend Tom Roach in Falmouth. This is a rig for putting windmills at sea. Farewell Falmouth. Friday the 27th. Across from St Moors. Wouldn't be nicer. Off round the lizard. Well, there's a guy on the council estate, Bradford and Avon, who we're always trying to catch, but we can't. <laughs> so, later that day, the two Adamses, they said to me... So if you look very carefully, is Land and Lighthouse. So here we are at 12.30. Friday the 27th of May, passing Land's End. Longships Lighthouse. This was our longest passage from Falmouth up to Milford Haven. Uh, it took 28 hours and as the sun set we prepared for two four-hour nighttime watches 
which took us through to the morning when we arrived in Milford Haven. So here we are in the lock gate at Milford Haven. And by an extraordinary miracle, having done 142 nautical miles from Falmouth, it was at this point that our gearbox decided to fail. More in the next episode.